Janelle, Dr. Bryant Lynn is a Stanford physician, professor, researcher, but he also considers him something else, a storyteller, using stories to make the mysteries of medicine less mysterious. Well, earlier this year, Dr. Lynn got some news that changed his life. It also gave him a story that he wanted to share. There are moments in every life. Wait, why don't we get started? When the path you've traveled to your destination only reveals itself in hindsight. Really thought it was very important to add this session to our class. Dr. Bryant Lynn is living one of those moments right now. Yeah, it's and it's always looking backward. You can kind of see the connections, but not looking forward. Well, looking backward, Dr. Lynn chose a career in medicine 20 years ago with a simple goal. I wanted that personal connection and that satisfaction from helping people on a day to day basis. It was one of the reasons in 2018 Dr. Lin co-founded Stanford's Center for Asian Health Research and Education. One particular area of focus, lung cancer in non-smokers. Our colleagues in oncology were seeing lots of Asians coming in with lung cancer having never smoked. And you know, a lot of the population, including doctors, thinks about lung cancer as a smoker's disease. Which may explain why Dr. Lin was, and in a way not shocked earlier this year, to find himself one of the 20% with lung cancer who have never smoked. I'm stage 4B, so the most advanced stage of lung cancer. It spread to my brain, to my liver, to my bones. The combination of treatments Dr. Lin has been receiving have slowed the disease and given him a good enough quality of life to continue working and teaching. And I guess you'll explain about this. But one class this fall is different. Because I, I want to take something that is obviously very negative to me personally and get some benefit out of it, for, for at least for other people, at inflection points in your life. From diagnosis to dialogue, a doctor's real-time battle with cancer is a class Dr. Lin is teaching with his journey, his day-to-day -day experience as the centerpiece. They talk about the disease, the treatment, and on this day, how spirituality can play a role in those with terminal illnesses. Dr. Lin feels he's uniquely qualified as a physician to communicate with future doctors in a language they will understand. You know, I thought, hey, I can use this opportunity to impact other people. And with whatever time he has left, leave the future of medicine a little brighter. I told them my one wish for the class is that one of the students goes into something related to cancer care. Could be primary care, could be oncology, could be research, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I'm like, hopefully this will inspire you to do something about and improve cancer care. So a little bit more, so I said his treatment right now is doing well mm -hmm. in, in maintaining the disease, but it, the way it, he explained to me with this disease is eventually this chemotherapy and this other medicine will become less and less effective. So while he's comfortable now and able to have a good quality of life, that will decline. And I think the number he said uh, at about a five-year oh. outlook, about a 10% survivability rate for his, his kind of, of lung cancer. But so courageous and so inspirational. I mean, Absolutely. literally, the students will be so di deeply impacted by his course and his story. Yeah. And I think it will inspire them for sure. And, and, and carry on and forward and how they, he's very into how you treat patients with a disease like his. And so these students are going to have that mm -hmm. in their memory bank and know how to handle it going forward. And just to be able to document that so, you know, everybody can can use mm -hmm. that knowledge that that he's being so so brave to share with everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much, wow. Robin. Thanks.